Hey guys, welcome to another math video. So what you're going to need today are, is or, uh, all of that. You're going to need this paper, so you can see that, remember how I cut mine apart? So if you cut your, yours apart, you should use this paper or just print a new one or, you know, like I did, I just kind of kept it. And you also should have this with you now which the cats have been very interested in. They think it's ribbon. It's really our giant number line that you printed from the website. So you can see that I glued it carefully together and now I'm ready to use it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you an example of how to practice counting by tens, starting with any number. Now I am going to do an example for start counting by tens starting at one, and counting by tens starting at two. And I'm gonna show you how I want to use this paper and the number line in order to continue to practice this skill. So the first thing I should do is I should make sure I have my ones in front of me. And, oh, I'm sorry, and you'll notice that over here, I highlighted the one row as a red star. So I'm going to be using the red color in order to mark up my number line. So this is an interesting way to look at math because math is very linear in lines and also we can see all of the numbers all the way to 100 on this number line. Now we remember from our discussions in class that number lines don't necessarily start at 1 or even 0. They actually go back of that, negative numbers, fractions, things like that. And um, also they don't stop at 100. It keeps going. Um, and so this is just a line segment. Um, it's a number line segment because it is just a segment of all the numbers that we can count to. And um, so let's get started. All right. So the first thing I'm going to do is I have my, my table set up here, and I'm actually going to show you my little workstation. It's right here. Oh, boy. This is really hard to take a video of. Well, <laughs> Let's, let's let's just try this again. <laughs> okay. Um, so when I'm counting by tens and I want to start with one, I need to know that I start with one. So I'm going to take my number line and I'm going to do one. And I'm actually going to color in around the circle. I'll give you an example of what I'm doing. It's just a second. Then if you look at that counting by ones, we have one, 11. 21, 31, 41, and I'm going to stop right there just to show you what I've done so far. So here, see how I colored it in that red color? 1, 11, 21, 31, 41, and I'm going to keep going, so bear with me here. Um, and the reason why I'm doing this is because I really want you to understand that when we're doing this, we're actually separating the numbers by 10. So there are 10 little dots that you can actually count in between my two red dots. Are you ready to count with me? So let's do it. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So um, we never start on the same number. We always start on the next one, just like when we're playing a board game. And there are 10 dots in between my two red dots. That's because I'm counting by tens. So why does this become useful? It becomes useful when you are asked questions like this. What is 21 plus 10 more? So I could take out my trusty number line, or I could count on my hands, or I could figure out the pattern. 21 and 10 more is 31. And by memorizing the pattern, I'm able to do that very quickly. So now I'm gonna keep going, and I'm going to fill in my number line. I'm at 51, what comes next? 61, then what? That's right. If you're doing this with me and I'm moving too fast, always pause the video. You can always come back to it. 81, 91, and although mine is going to stop at 100, what would come next? 101. Okay, so here's the pattern is that what I want to do now is now I want to do the same thing for the next 
10 sections of this counting by tens wrap. So now I'm going to take my twos and you'll notice that I did um, the color orange for this one. And so now I'm going to do the same thing I did with the ones for the twos. So I put that orange in front of me and I'm going to highlight the number two in orange. And if you look at the chart, we have two, 12, 22, 32, 42, 52. And I'm going to pause right there so that you can see what I've done. Okay. So you can see that my orange line is right, my orange dot is right next to my red dot. And for each one. So I'm going to keep on going. And what I want to keep in mind is as I'm doing this, I want to sing the silly song. I can count by tens, can you, can you. I can count by tens and I'll start with two, two. 12, 22, 32, 42, 52, then 62, 72, 82, 92, what would come next? 102. So I'll show you the rest of my line here. So you can see here that I have created all the way down the row. Now what I would do is I would fill this in and practice singing the song for each of the numbers. All right. Now if, I hope that that makes sense and um, I hope you enjoy your giant number line. What I would suggest you do is you take out your journal that has the sticker, the one that's for math, and glue just one little section of the number segment to the book and then fold the rest of the pages or the rest of the sections. I'm going to fold mine so that you can see what I'm talking about. Folding, folding, folding. Sorry, this is a long snake. Give me just a second. Still folding, trying to be neat. Almost done, one more and done. Okay, so here it's all folded up. So if I were to glue it in my book, I would have it nice and secure and I could use it whenever I need to, like for the next page that you're going to learn about on the website. So I hope you've enjoyed and um, you're okay with that silly part of my first part of my video. <laughs> and I'll see you soon.